were talking uh, about the importance of pulse, and, and Kev started out with that blues and E. He was doing a 12 bar, mostly stuck to the 12 bar. Mm -hmm. One thing that we all felt in that was his sense of pulse, and, and that's uh, something what we want to emphasize, the importance of pulse uh, in any kind of music, especially the blues. And uh, what you might have noticed is the way he was maintaining the pulse with the thumb, and it was mostly a quarter note pulse, right? So you could count that one, two, three, four, right? And so really that was the backbone of his whole arrangement for the yes. most part. In this particular case, yeah, in the song, which is kind of like that song was a uh, accompaniment to Kind Hearted Woman Blues, which is actually accompanied to a vocal with it, you know, to it. important to keep your pulse going because that what makes that's what makes you sound full it's not the amount of notes you play it's where you put the notes for instance got a kind heart and one love Doing a thing in the world for me. You don't want to step on yourself. Well, I got a kind hearted woman. Doing a thing in the world for me. But these equal hearted women just want to let me be. doing that course, don't be afraid of space. Space is okay. It's okay to play nothing sometimes. We should probably get into this and uh, spy space. Yeah, you're also going to notice that we have a tendency to muffle the bass a little bit. And even though we might look like we're only hitting one string, we sometimes push through to a couple of strings to get almost that kick drum sound. Yeah. Okay. I like to play the quarter note bass and it and if it's something a little bit uh, foreign to you, what you can do is is play a chord with the bass and, and just bring the chord in on a downbeat. Something like two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you can really go through the blues like that. And just get really comfortable about that. We were joking before that you could spend, you know, spend a week on that. <laughs> and you can always start to loosen it up. And then you can be bringing your turnarounds or your fills. Yes. Keb likes to play that. Yeah. And if you have trouble, if you have trouble making your fingers move independently, that's okay. Feel free to work on one finger at a time, thumb at a time, just these fingers at a time, just two fingers at a time. It doesn't matter. So if you have trouble with that and learning how to like use your fingers separately, for instance, uh, this pen, yeah. You might have a trouble doing that. It might be very easy for you. You might be bored to death right here. But if you're, if you're like me in the beginning, that was very hard. You know. So you want to get the movement of your hand. A couple of good exercises. 
play triplets with your your four fingers and quarter notes on your thumb and just sit there and go. And you get the feel of that rhythm.